on the last row. Get you done for the Scottish Family Party. I would ask you all to tune in to the Scottish Family Party and Richard's videos because it was a couple of years ago I was sent a link to the Banana and Nutella video link and I've never seen anything so disgusting. I was in a state of shock when I read this. An illustration of a banana dipped into Nutella chocolate as they're talking about anal sex. Now, I know it's disgusting. It is utterly disgusting. The children have been sent this. And Richard's got them inside out. He's got the knowledge. He's got the words. He's got the intelligence. He's a former teacher. He's a leader of the Scottish Family Party. And I'm going to welcome Richard up onto this stage just now. But before I go off, I will see you once again. Thanks, teaching every one of you for coming along here and caring about the Scottish children. It's an absolute pleasure to talk to you. What a crowd. Now, somewhere in Glasgow Council, there'll be a room that says Child Protection Department. But that's not the Child Protection Department. You're the Child Protection Department. And what you're doing is going to make a difference because the government thinks they can do what they like in this sort of area. And just no one will mind. It will just float on by and people don't really care. Well, they're getting a shock here, aren't they? They're going to see pictures. They're going to see your lovely faces. And they're going to think, oh, maybe this is not such a good idea after all. Now, I've publicised this event. Uh, Steph's little thing there, no, Glasgow cabbie. And someone put a comment underneath, straight away. They said, oh, you think a cabbie knows more than all the academics and professionals, do you? Uh, yes. 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 And I replied, yes. 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 Of course I do. Anyone with decent values would realise that. If you want to find the truth, if you want to find decency, integrity, you don't go to the professionals and the academics in this sort of area. You go to ordinary people, because yeah. that's where there's still some decent values. Now, when it comes to the experts and the professionals, I find that these days, when it comes to the experts, it seems a pretty fine line between experts and perverts. Yeah. And I don't say that lightly. I mean, the, the man who's in charge of sex education at the government's resources in Scotland Dr. Colin Morrison, doctor, he's got a PhD, he wrote a dissertation. What did he write about in his dissertation? The need to break down the barrier between childhood and sexuality. Ooh. The need to break down the barrier between childhood and sexuality. He's the expert. He's been appointed by the Scottish Government to produce the sex education resources. You couldn't make it up, could you? you, you, you it's, it's unbelievable. One of the one big problems we have with this area is we say to people, this is what's going on, here are the images, here are the pictures, and people say, no, surely not. You're making it up, you're exaggerating. You're just trying to shock people. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's what's going on in schools. So this survey in particular, the survey is the tip of the iceberg. I'll talk about the iceberg in a minute. Let's talk about this survey, tip of the iceberg. What's the problem with it? For start, if you're there, you know, 14 year old girls, you've got these different options. You know, how often have you had sex? When do you have sex? What sort of sex? Have you? So, if you're taking the non, you'll be thinking, oh, I'm really out of the extreme here. Seems like everyone else is. I'm having to take the non at all box. I feel a bit of a weirdo doing this. Then you get to the other questions, you know, types of sex. I mean, I'm sure most parents will be thinking they're really hoping their kids at that sort of age are not having sex at all, probably. Um, but they've been asked, uh, I was about vaginal sex and anal sex has to come in at every point as well. Normalise. So the message to children in Scotland, just the same. Take your pick, equivalent. I've heard from two GPs in Edinburgh, two GPs, totally independently, say that they're having girl, teenage girl after teenage girl coming to see them, basically injured by anal sex. But the message of the SNP is, it's all fine, go ahead, it's great, all the same, don't worry about it. As long as you consent, the other person consents, that is all fine. But maybe, you know, we're not quite as progressive and open-minded as they think. I mean, how many fathers are thinking, yeah, that's what I want my daughters teaching. You know, anal sex, that's just fine. Let's make fun of it, let's make you know, jolly, dip the banana in the Nutella. You know, if that's what you feel you want to do, that's all fine. How many fathers are thinking that for their daughter? Not many, but the SNP thinks the opposite. 
Now, as I say, the survey is the tip of the iceberg. The sex education of what children are taught is the bigger issue, in my view, much bigger. I said about anal sex, other things as well. I, I hate talking about these things. If someone had said to me 10 years ago, you're going to be standing talking to a group of people in Glasgow about these things, well, I'd never even have heard of them. And I'd have thought, surely not. But they teach children about, again, I hate talking about this, I mean, rimming, licking the anus as a sex act. They teach it in school. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they showed a video saying that basically uh, your anal sex is probably better, feels better. But, I mean, rimming, to me, that's just, it, it's disgusting. It's a perversion of sexuality. Again, in Scottish schools, it's, it's here, here we are, there's this sort of sex, this sort of this sort, it's all the same, up to you. Bondage. They make light of bondage, a picture of a, 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 a chicken, all strung up together. As oh, you know, lots of people try bondage. But is that really a healthy message for teenagers? Are they not? Pornography. It, you know, even the beginning of secondary school, the message is, pornography, that's fine. Nothing to feel guilty about. You're going to watch pornography. Masturbate to pornography, that's perfectly normal. Don't let anyone make you feel guilty about that. I mean, what is going on? I hope you all got one of these leaflets. There's some more down here. I mean, I'm embarrassed to give these out. I mean, this image here, of, I don't even want to stand here with you, like female genitalia, that's shown in primary schools. Imagine the class there, boys and girls, 10, 11 year olds. This is up on the whiteboard, labelling the different parts of it. I mean, it's sickening, it's sickening, but it's what's happening. I mean, I, I, well, we're not here to talk about the, tra the transgender, but again, the idea that if people can change gender, and the guidance says, if they say, no, I don't want mum and dad to know, then mum and dad don't know. The school will keep it secret. It's just so wrong. It's so wrong. Oh, yeah, that's what the SFB is doing. So what's going on here in schools? It's not education. It's half indoctrination and it's corruption. It's corruption. It's taking children who maybe know their parents have got really good values, their parents have got, know how they want to bring them up, they know how they want them to behave. But the SNP and the Greens obviously are even worse. They're thinking, we know better than those parents. Those parents are a bit thick. They're amateurs, they're old fashioned. We need to get the proper message to children. And the message to children is that sort of debauchery that I've just it's been outlining to you. That's <laughs> well, uh, okay, I'll tell you something about that. Okay, you know, I said Colin Morrison in charge of the sex education resources. His sidekick um, has performed in a sort of Satanist band with Satanist imagery. I mean, I'm not saying you know, it's full of Satanists, but as it happens, the other man involved in it did seem to be quite interested in uh, Satanic imagery. Let's put it that way. So what are we going to do about it? Well, you're all doing something. You're at the leading edge of doing something about this in Scotland. It's the Scottish Family Party. But this is one of our big things. I've written a book about it. It's a pretty substantial book, Corrupting Young Minds. If you want a copy of this, just see Neil here. Give him an email address or a phone number or something. We can get one to you. We've run out tonight, I think. But make sure you get one of these leaflets. Show it to other people. And when people say, no, nah, I don't believe that. They're making it up. Say to them, I can understand that. It is hard to believe that this is what's going on in the schools of Scotland. Yeah. But take them online, get this book, show them the links, show them that it's true, and then we can start the fight back. Because remember, who's the real child protection service in Glasgow and in Scotland? <laughs> it's us. I mean, You're right. Okay, so thanks very much for inviting me. Let's be great to speak to you.